Hey what's up guys, it's Kieran, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. I've seen these challenges floating around the internet where YouTubers ask their best friends or boyfriends or family members to control their life for 24 hours and they are so entertaining to watch. So I figured I would do it because I'm so bored of just doing work all day and filming myself on my laptop. So I thought it would be a nice change and also kind of fun. So I messaged my best friend Charlotte who if you've been following me for a while you'll know. She's been my best friend for years and also my travel buddy. So if you've seen any of those vlogs we've been around Europe together, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Malaysia, like by this point she's basically my sister. So she graciously accepted the challenge of controlling my day and sent me a bunch of voice notes yesterday that she told me to listen to throughout the day. The first thing she told me to do was listen to the first voice note last night. Okay, so Charlotte told me to listen to the first voice note she sent me the night before I decided to film the video where she controls my life for the day. So it is 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday and I plan on filming that video tomorrow, so I'm going to listen to that now. Of people recommending, kind of controlling their friend's life for a day. Um, so I've got some ideas. Um, and I'm going to put them in separate voice notes so you can kind of um, uh, play them separately throughout the day. Like, after you've done one thing, you can play the next one. Oh, she's um, so cute. So, first things first, I hope you're having a lovely day so far. Um, oh. I suppose you should listen to this one before, actually, like, the night before, because um, I want you to wake up at 8.30. Mm. Um, that's kind of when I wake up normally, um, and this day is going to be, like, kind of similar to my day. I don't know. Yeah, kind of. Anyway, um, so, exciting. Wake up at 8.30. I'm not really surprised, to be honest, ever since I've known her, Charlotte has been an early riser. Even when we go travelling, she's always up at, like, 6, 7am, and I'm there, like, lying in bed hungover till 12pm, but 8.30 is doable. I think this last kind of week or so I've been waking up at 8.30, but not necessarily getting out of bed until, like... 9 10 ish, so I will do as she says and make a big effort to actually get up at 8 30 tomorrow morning. I'm gonna be so tired. So, I did as she told me, it's like 9 a.m. now. I just got up, I got myself a little bit ready, brushed my teeth, washed my face, that kind of stuff. I didn't get to sleep till like 2 a.m. last night, so waking up at 8 30 was kind of painful, and I feel so tired right now. But I'm going to listen to the next voice note, or I guess the first voice note for today. Okay, so after your meditation, hopefully you're feeling... Um, oh, okay. the voice note that I listened to yesterday kind of just cut off at the end. And I think maybe she stopped recording when she said to meditate first thing. So I haven't done that yet. I guess I'll do that now and then I'll listen to this voice note. I'm just going to use this guided meditation that I found on YouTube and let's see how it goes. Allow your eyes to open with gratitude. Like a garden you pass that you never saw before. For the true intentions of someone. Okay, the guided meditation I chose was questionable. I just couldn't stop laughing. He was saying some really funny stuff. But I think I'm going to listen to the next voice note now. Okay, so after your meditation, hopefully you're feeling um, very calm and collected and... Uh empty inside. Um, <laughs> uh, so then after that, breakfast, um, I love a bit of brekkie, me, um, and normally what I have is porridge. Oh god, I, I knew she was gonna do this. Basically, I got Harry to listen to all these voice notes last night just in case I needed to go get anything from the shops and he was like, you're probably gonna wanna get oats. And I was like, oh no. Charlotte eats porridge almost every day. She loves the stuff and she knows that I don't really like porridge. I haven't eaten porridge in like 10 years and I just knew she was gonna do this to me. Today's the day I eat porridge again gluten-free but I'm hoping that you have some gluten-free oats um, and if not obviously sub in with whatever you need to because we don't want you throwing up all day <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um, porridge how I make it is basically you can do it either on the stove top or in the microwave just like with milk with a bit of milk um, and water and I have my plain but yeah Oh bless her, she's telling me how to make it. Oh, do I have to have mine plain? 
You shouldn't tell me I have to. All right, we'll go make some porridge. Joy, I can't wait. This is off to a great start. Okay, so since I had a feeling Charlotte was gonna make me eat porridge, I literally just got these yesterday from co-op because I didn't wanna get a whole bag of oats because I knew I wasn't gonna use them. So let's just see how this tastes. porridge. Let's give this a try. She didn't technically tell me I had to have mine plain so I added some syrup and some strawberries. Eh, it's alright. I'm just not the biggest fan of hot breakfast. Like I usually have fruit and yogurt or smoothies or something like that but I feel like this is going to keep me full for quite long so I'm not too mad. While I eat this, I'm going to listen to the next voice note. Okay, and so then after breakfast, um, I don't know if you're reading anything at the moment, but I've been reading loads during quarantine. Um, so what I'd normally do is just read for like an hour or two, um, whatever book you're reading currently. Uh, so in terms of, well, I guess I could recommend you a book. Um, what have I been reading? I've been reading a lot of Jane Austen recently. I don't know if you can get your hands on Jane Austen. But yeah, read whatever you like, whatever you're reading currently. Okay, cool. <laughs> I love her. I am reading at the moment, actually. I knew she was going to get me to read. Whenever we go travelling, Charlotte always has a book on her and she loves to read. And I always wish I could read as much as her, but my attention span is lacking so I get really bored when I read but I am currently reading a book at the moment so once I've finished my breakfast I will get into reading for an hour or so I guess. This is the book that I am currently reading at the moment. I'm actually really enjoying it but like I said I do have a bit of a short attention span so I only tend to read a couple of chapters at a time but I will try my best to read for like 45 minutes to an hour today and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so it's like 11 o'clock now and I just finished reading a few chapters of my book which I'm really happy she told me to do actually because I haven't read my book in so long and I'm really enjoying it. But I think before I listen to the next voice though I'm just going to quickly get ready for the day because I'm literally still sat here in my pyjamas and I feel like she might have forgotten to include it in the voice notes. She sent me a message saying she thinks it would be quite funny for me to try and dress like her for the day so I'm going to see what I can do. We do definitely have very different tastes in clothes like I have a very lazy kind of style I love jeans and trackies and hoodies whereas Charlotte has always put a lot more effort into her clothes and her style so we'll see what I can do from what I remember she used to wear this black pinafore a lot in sixth form and I have a black pinafore so I feel like that might be the way to go and she used to love turtlenecks I'm not sure if I own a turtleneck, so I might just have to go with a long sleeve under the pinafore, but I'll see what I can do. Okay, so here's the outfit I went for. This top I showed in a recent haul of mine. It's from Misguided. My pinafore is from Topshop, and then I'm just wearing some black tights. I feel like this is as close to Charlotte as I could get. Once you've done all that, uh, I mean, I'm guessing you're going to have some free time in the day. Like, I don't want you to <laughs> spend the entire day just doing things that I tell you to do, but... Um... I guess that's kind of the point, isn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling. Um, so, once you've done that, you should be kind of coming up to lunchtime. I normally have my lunch at, like, 1pm. Um, and in true, in honour of true Kieran, um, I really want you um, to make yourself the best version of a Subway salad that you can. I'm talking loads of red onion. I'm talking loads of cheese. I'm talking mayo dressing, I'm talking basically every vegetable under the sun, except <laughs> from obviously mushrooms. Of course. Literally every time we've been travelling together I've always managed to find a Subway and whenever I get bored of like the local food we always just go to Subway and the only thing I can have is the salad because I'm gluten free so I can't have any of the bread. 
and she knows me so well I always get extra red onion, extra cheese, extra mayo and I don't like gherkins so I never get gherkins and I also don't like mushrooms which is why she said that, bless her. That's a good lunch, that is very me but she said she eats at 1pm and it's like 11.30 now so she did mention free time, I'm guessing she's just gonna let me do whatever I want for the next hour and a half and I do have a couple things to do. I filmed a video yesterday that I wanted to edit so I think I might just spend a bit of time doing that now and then I'll get into making my lunch. lunch so I'm gonna listen to the next voice note. I'm trying to think of the lunch of like um a dessert that you would really mm. like um and I couldn't really think of anything but then I was like oh how fun would it be if you did some baking um so I want you to find a recipe and bake some gluten-free brownies Good luck. Oh. I hope they're not dry as fuck. <laughs> I actually made some brownies a few weeks ago and the recipe was so good. They tasted so good. So I'm just going to use that exact recipe again. And if you want to recreate them, I'll link the recipe and that video in the description. But let's get started. I'm actually so excited. I've got such a sweet tooth and I love brownies. So this is perfect. <laughs> I'm just gonna listen to the next voice note. So once you've made the brownies, you're not allowed to eat them yet. <laughs> Before you eat the brownies, I want you to go on a run. Now I don't know if you're like a big runner normally. Like I'm talking about a run outside. <laughs> so have your comfort zone, dude. Not on a treadmill. <laughs> Not you can get into a gym at the moment anyway. Charlotte knows I used to hate running outside. I only ever used to run on a treadmill. But if you guys have been watching my vlogs at the moment, you'll know I have actually gotten into running outside. So I can do that. Come back. Have a nice tall glass of water. <laughs> oh, that one cut her off. Okay. Continuing on from the last note, which cut me off. Um, <laughs> she sounds so sad. Oh, yeah, you can have the water and... You can have your brownies now, so okay. enjoy. Bon appetit. <laughs> Dude, you're such a weirdo. <laughs> okay, cool. So I'm going to wait for the brownies to finish and then I will go on a run. It's actually really good timing because it's really nice weather today, so I'm happy to do that. Here is my workout outfit of the day. I think my top is from H&M. My biker shorts are from Fabletics and then I'm wearing my Nike running shoes as per. So I'm going to go on a quick run as Charlotte has instructed me to and then when I come back I think I'm going to do some kind of hit workout with Harry in the living room. <laughs> So I just finished my workout with Harry, had a quick body shower and put on a nice comfy outfit. I've literally been living in this ever since I ordered it from Misguided. It's so comfortable and soft, I really recommend it. But anyway, I know that Charlotte said I could treat myself to one of my brownies after my run, but it's like 5.30pm now and I'm really, really hungry. And I'm kind of hoping that her next voice note is going to be something about dinner. So I think I might wait on the brownie and have it for pudding after dinner just because I don't want to ruin my appetite. But first I'm going to listen to that voice note just in case I'm wrong. Okay, so I was thinking about what you'd really like for dinner. Yes, um, dinner. I remember from all our travels, what you always used to like go on about was having um, a pizza from Domino's. <laughs> So for dinner, I want you to order yourself in a gluten-free pizza from Domino's Aww, um, okay. and probably get something for Harry as well, otherwise that's just mean. Um, 
just imagining myself ordering a Domino's and sitting right next to Harry while we watch a movie. <laughs> He's just watching me eat pizza without him. That would be so sad. <laughs> anyway, carry on. Um, and the film I want you to watch is a film called Jonas. And it's on Netflix, and it's basically, it's a French film. You can watch it with English subtitles. Ooh, um, but I just okay. always remember you talking to me about how you really wanted to learn French um, <sighs> when we were in, like, Paris and stuff. Your favourite place in the world. It is so, my favourite yeah, place in the world. enjoy a French film. I hope you like it. Oh, bless. That's so sweet. She remembered I wanted to learn French. The only thing is, I hate watching movies with subtitles, so... This is going to be a challenge for me, but I am excited for pizza. My God, everyone who knows me knows I love pizza. Turns out the Domino's aren't offering gluten-free pizzas at the moment because of all of the COVID quarantine stuff. They've reduced their menu, which is absolutely fine. It's understandable. And we do have a takeaway right around the corner from our house that Harry and I literally walk past all the time. And we always say we should try it, but we never actually have. So they do do gluten-free pizzas. So I think we're going to go there and see if we can grab a takeaway. And I'm hoping Charlotte won't mind because it's still pizza. It's like, same, same, but different, but nothing will hit like a Domino's. Uh, can I get the pepperoni, um, the XL wedges? Sweet chili? Chili, yeah. And then, can I get the, uh, a gluten-free vegetable supreme? Anything else for you? Uh, no, that's it, thank you. Okay, so we just finished our pizza and we want some pudding and I realized I didn't show the vlog my finished brownies So they look so good. I made them into cupcakes because all I had is cupcake cases I didn't have a brownie tin and I just topped them off with this chocolate buttercream icing And then I put these galaxy chocolate eggs on top Literally looks so good and the whole house smells like brownies. I cannot wait to eat one of these So we're just gonna finish off the French film while we have a bit of pudding And then I believe I have one more voice note from Charlotte to listen to before the end of the night Okay, so Now you're probably like almost ready to go to bed and Normally at this point I would have drunk like maybe 15 cups of tea <laughs> uh, But you obviously don't drink tea um, but you still need a hot drink before bed because everyone needs a hot drink before bed. She's um, so British. So go ahead, treat yourself, make yourself a hot chockey. Sleep tight. I hope you've enjoyed the day. Controlled by Charlotte. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie, it's like 11 p.m. right now, and I am still so full from the pizza and the cake. And I don't think I could face having a hot chocolate right now. So I'm going to kind of cheat and maybe have it tomorrow morning. But I just wanted to say thank you to Charlotte for taking the time out to send me all those voice notes and going along with this challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It's definitely a different video for me. And if you want to see another one where I get someone else to control my life for a day, then please subscribe for more and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.